If you are implementing multiple comparison methods within R, um, there's a function called p.adjust that'll do that. And this is just one way to do it. Now, in my view, many of the multiple comparison methods don't require an R function. If you're using the Bonferroni method and you know you have two tests and you want the family-wise coverage to be 0.05, all you have to do is divide 0.05 by two and use that as the cutoff for your p-values. However, this function called p.adjust does exist. And here's how it works. You give it as its first input a vector containing p-values from the tests that you are interested in, whatever those p-values might be. Then you write method equals and you specify Bonferroni or some other method. And if you look at the help file for p.adjust, it'll tell you all the different words that you can write here under method. Now, when I employ the Bonferroni method, what I do is I look at my p-values and I compare them to a new cutoff, such as 0.05 divided by 2. However, the p.adjust function doesn't make any assumptions about whether 0.05 was your original cutoff or 0.1, etc. So instead of comparing the original p-values to a new cutoff, it instead changes your p-values so they can be compared to the old cutoff. In other words, comparing a p-value of 0.03 to a new cutoff of 0.025 gives the same result as comparing 2 times 0.03 to your old cutoff of 0.05. And so what p.adjust does, if you specify method equals Bonferroni, is it literally just multiplies each p-value by the number of tests you have. Again, because comparing 2 times 0.4 to your cutoff of 0.05 achieves the same result as comparing 0.4 um, to 0.05 divided by 2.